Acts 14. Turn with me there as we begin to wind down here. Acts 14 is it's Paul. Ministry. In verse 8. It's Paul and Barnabas. It says. While they were at Lystra, Paul and Barnabas came upon a man with crippled feet. And he had been that way from birth, so he had never walked. He was sitting and listening. Hmm. I'm sure he wasn't just casually listening. I'm sure the Spirit of God was moving him to be content upon what the minister was saying. So then listening as Paul preached, looking straight at him, Paul realized he had faith to be healed. So Paul called to him in a loud voice, Stand up! And the man jumped to his feet and started walking. Hallelujah. The revelation of Jesus Christ is found in the Word. That's right. It's the Word that is spoken that will cause a lame man from birth to stand on his feet at the command of the Holy Spirit and walk. Amen. 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 That's good. The revelation of Jesus will get you yes. out of the situation that you're in. Right. If it can stand a lame man from birth upon his feet and walk, it'll get you out of what you're going through. I guarantee it. It's a revelation of who Jesus is. Just cry out to Him. He's there. The song says, Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. Amen. And I tell you this, that God's desire is to see that you be more Jesus conscious. Amen. Why? So the things of this earth go strangely dim. Yeah. So the things that seem so concerning to us aren't concerning anymore. My mother used to say this growing up. There, there was a time when me and my brother, my, my folks were um, young and they didn't have a lot, so a pair of shoes did mean something to us. Hallelujah. And I remember saying, Mom, I sure would like a new pair of PF Flyers or something. I can't remember. Does anybody remember PF Flyers? Oh, yeah. I'd say, I'm not that old. <laughs> No. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Come on up here, brother. Give me, give me a hug. And I remember her saying, you know, the little boy cried when he didn't have any shoes until he saw the little boy that had no feet. That's right. <laughs> that is stuff. That, she said that didn't help any. <laughs> It did help something because it is stuck in my heart. To having the understanding of there's always a situation that's worse than yours. And I'm going to tell you what, the thing that is happening now is we see so much in the media and so much going on that seems so doom and gloom and so bad. But what God wants us to do is get the focus off of us and off of our worldly situations and focus on Him. Amen? Our focus has to be on Him. Yes. And everything else will go strings to dim. See, it's in our best interest to find out as much as we can about Jesus, about who He is, about His titles, about His official glories, about all that He possesses. Come on. Yeah. Because everything that He possesses, you have the opportunity to possess. Somebody didn't hear me. Amen. Oh, yeah. Everything that Jesus possesses, 
you have the opportunity to possess right. yes. everything. everything. There is no lack in Jesus. Come on. Come on. So everything that he has, yeah. you have. 